everybody welcome back to my channel for this style you want to start off with freshly washed and conditioned hair I use my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo and also the conditioner you're gonna to want to go ahead and put a part in your hair you do not have to wear a part you can actually um, just slick your hair down as is but I actually like the look of the part so I am making a middle part here I'm just adding moisturizer to my hair before I'm slicking it down. Here this is just some oil I'm adding. I'm going to rub that in my fingers and rub that in my hair as well. Next I'm just taking a brush, a vent brush and combing my hair out making sure I'm getting a product through and taking the detangles that I have out. There, that was, this is actually some Gorilla Snot Gel. Taking that, mixing that with some oil and smoothing it on top of my hair. Next, you wanna go ahead and make sure that's all brushed into your hair. The white film will go away uh, once you brush it and uh, saturate it. All over here, it will um, go in, unless you can see it's doing that now. And so you wanna do that until you smooth your hair into a ponytail. So I smooth that side, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth the other side now. Gonna take an outless ponytail holder and pull my hair into a low ponytail. Here I'm taking a second ponytail holder and I'm just wrapping my hair into like a ball. And I'm gonna take that ponytail holder ahead to um, tie it down. So yeah, I know my hair looks crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and take an extra step and smooth it down now. I'm taking some of that Gorilla Snot by itself and I'm smoothing it over my hair. And I think I'm just gonna take a brush and smooth that down now to get it nice and smooth and straight to the back. I actually like using this gel more than I like using a regular Eco Style of gel. I feel like this holds my thick hair down really well. Okay, now once that's all smooth, you wanna go ahead and um, put a scarf over your hair to mold it. And I'm just gonna let it sit and take the shape it needs to shape. And I'll come back to complete the hairstyle after I finish my makeup. And through the magic of YouTube, I am back. I'm taking the a pack of expressions here and I'm actually going to braid it into a braid. I can't do it on camera. So I did go away and I braided it. And I'm just gonna take a rubber band and tie it off at the end like this. Next, you wanna take that rubber band and wrap it around your bun like a ponytail, I'm just gonna wrap it twice. Then I wanna take that loop, loop it around my bun. Couldn't get a real good picture of that, but I took the end of the hair, the loop, and I wrapped it around my bun. And I'm just gonna take the actual braid 
and um, wrap it around my head now. And I'm just gonna tuck the end over in the, in the front. It's easiest if you take a bobby pin and you just secure it down once you get it tucked in. So here I took a bobby pin and I'm just going to pin that in down. I'm going to make sure it's secure. Then I'm just going to take a few more bobby pins and pin my hair in key places. Oh, I forgot. I actually went ahead and fluffed out the pieces of my hair in the front. You can make this as loose as you want. If you would have actually braided the hair um, looser, you could have had a looser braid here, but I actually wanted it to be semi-tight, so I'm just um, pulling it apart a little bit. So here I show you where I actually put my bobby pins. I think I put one in the middle and two on the sides just to secure it so it wouldn't move around any. A little trick that I did was actually took the end of my right tail comb and I stuffed the hair, any hair that was out or moving, I just took it and slid it back behind my braid. Now if you want, you can leave the style like this, but I'm actually gonna take some of my Gorilla's Knot and I'm going to slick down my edges. I'm not gonna like make any false baby hairs or anything. I'm gonna take the hairs that I have on my forehead. I'm gonna take those, not my forehead, but my hairline. I'm gonna take those and um, slick them down and just smooth them down so they look nice with the hairstyle. This basically concludes the whole video. Um, it's just me showing you this. This was my first time doing this hairstyle and I actually really like it and can see myself wearing it more in the future, especially when I don't feel like doing my hair. This is cute and can be worn out or to work or anything like that and I really just like it so far. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, hit me up on my social media handles. It's, it's Lily or Makeup by Lily. And I'll see you there.